short run would be Lil's One Piece. And if uh, anybody can figure out how to do less than that, let me know, we'll do it. I'm Harold Brown from Triangle Precision Industries. We're a job shop out of Kettering, Ohio. We do a lot of uh, rapid prototyping and uh, research and development parts along with a lot of low volume production. This part, this particular part is really cool. Uh, it goes on the Coast Guard's uh, rescue winch. And this bar right here controls what the cable reads. So if the cable is going 30 feet this way and 30 feet that way, uh, this side of it does not know that. So that when it winds the cable in, it winds in straight and they don't lose the person they're trying to rescue. Uh, knee surgery, this actually allows the surgeon to know exactly how much uh, bone he's cutting off. This is uh, stainless steel, surgical stainless steel, 300 series. Wire EDM and then uh, five axis machining. So there's two ops virtually. Uh, for the machining and then there's uh, uh, one op for the wire side of it. Um, this, this actually has a 45 degree angle in it that we wire EDM. Very difficult part to do. Uh, we're holding tolerances as low as uh, 2000 in some of the areas. Uh, believe it or not, uh, that's not the hardest part. The hardest part is the aesthetics of the part. We could have the best product in the world and if it doesn't look good, it'll be a reject. So it has to almost have a, not a mere finish, but a very uh, good surface to it. Uh, this one here is a really cool part. This is another medical part. Uh, each one of those slots are held within two thousandths of each other. This, uh, this particular part, uh, we had a customer that came to us about seven or eight years ago roughly and said, can you make this part for us? Uh, we gave them a price. They passed out and it came back about six months later and asked if we could still do it for that price. Uh, each one of those slots gets a razor that goes inside of it. So if they don't line up properly, then that razor that comes through doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And what it does is it takes good skin from a burn patient and it'll, and they, there again, uh, we're talking about a burn patient, so they've been through a lot. This is nothing compared to what they've gone through already. So they'll take the skin off, cuts it in a diamond pattern, and they lay that over top of the, uh, the burn skin. This part, uh, we made uh, for Rolls Royce Allison. It went on the exhaust for the M1 Abrams. Um, in the first Gulf War, they realized that that tank, when it was powered up, it could be found by their, its heat signature. And so they redesigned it so when the exhaust came out, there was no heat whatsoever. <laughs> what they had to do is they had to power down. So when they powered down, if they got into a combat situation, it took so long to power it back up that they'd be dead in the water. So they had to redo it. We made about 300 of these. And it starts like this. And we end up with this. The cool thing about this was is when they took this to the company that we made it for, they gave it to their guys and they said, you can't make this. And they said, yes, you can. We have them. So they brought them into the shop. We showed them how we did it and uh, their guys were just blown away. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.